Hi everyone, I'm August. Thank you for being here. This video is for the tag team collab with Creations with Tanya and Grandma Kathy's Art Venture. After me is Tanya and then Kathy follows her and both of their videos are in the description below. This week we're doing dealer's choice, any technique we want. I did another one of Shelly Art's uh, new pleated bloom techniques. So um, I will link her video below or her uh, channel below so you can check that out. The pleated bloom I did last week was the height and reveal and then I pleated it and it came out cool. But I do have to say, I think this one came out a lot cooler. So I double pleated it. I did the first scoop, pleated that, turned the canvas and did another pleat on it. Um, Shelly has some videos doing multiple pleats as well. So definitely check those out. This is really cool because it gave it kind of like a brick look. A uh, couple of things I want to mention. So. Your colors are going to lighten up the more you pleat it. You pleat it once, they lighten up a little bit. It seems like that second pleat, they're going to lighten up even more. Probably maybe start using darker colors um, if you're just starting this. I did a lighter color palette this past week. Still came out cool, but I mean, the colors were definitely muted. My wife really likes it. She likes that, you know, simple muted color palette. Um, so if that's your thing, definitely go for the lighter colors. Uh, if it's not, try the darker colors. So last week we talked about making sure your palette knife is big enough for what you're using. Again, this is an eight inch round and a six inch palette knife. The other things I wanted to talk about is when you're going to scoop up your, your paint, I kind of put in my, my canvas at an angle and then helping guide that paint onto the palette knife. And once you have it scooped up, Last week, I was kind of just letting it all run off. Um, now I'm kind of picking it up, letting it sit, and then I'll tilt it at a slight angle. And the, the more the angle, the, the closer together your pleats are going to be. And the higher up you hold your palette knife, the closer together your pleats are going to be. So keep that in mind. So if you want your pleats further apart, don't have such a steep angle. When you get to the end, you're going to notice that your paint's running out. So you're going to have to help kind of guide those last pleats down. Uh, also, I should mention, let your pillow rest. So I had just put some new pillow paint in my squeeze bottle and all of those came out with huge air bubbles when I would do the pleats. But if I would let that paint sit for about a day, I wouldn't get nearly as many air bubbles um, when I would do the pleats. So you go, you do your first pleat, now you're gonna do your second pleat. Something to keep in mind is whatever part you like the best on that piece, scoop that up last because the part you're gonna scoop up first is probably gonna stay on your palette knife or it's gonna you know, get really distorted at the end. So if you really like this side, start on this side with your scoop. Um, I think that was pretty much it that I wanted to go over. I hope you guys try it. Um, it's super fun once you get the hang of it. Even before you get the hang of it, it's fun. There's just something about scooping up that paint, letting it run off and seeing the different uh, designs. Oh, I did want to mention. So this one, you're going to see that there's, uh, it kind of looks like a brick pattern at the end. So how I did that, do the first scoop, lay it down, turn your, your canvas, when you're going to pick up your second scoop of paint, kind of move your palette knife around um, to kind of distort those lines a little bit. If you go and scoop it straight up, you're probably going to end up with lines just straight up and down and straight across. But by on that second scoop, moving your palette knife, it kind of distorts them enough where it gives it that brick look. All right, I know that was a lot. So I hope you enjoy the video. I uh, hope you guys try it out. Have an amazing day and thank you so much for being here.
It seems to lead to know 